Here's how I would rank all nine Spider-Man movies, and I got the best list, ain't nobody touching my list. I'm only going to be doing the Spider-Man movies, not the Venom movies or Morbius. I got to preface this with the fact that I love all three of these gentlemen. Andrew, Tom, and Toby are respectively great Spider-Mans and Peter Parkers in their own unique ways, and they worked for the times of their films. I think each and every one of them deserves a goddamn salute. Thank you for your sir. <laughs> oh yeah, if you don't like my list, there's nothing you can do about it. Who gonna stop me? In ninth place, we got Spider-Man Far From Home. And look, before you get angry and start typing, Far From Home, that's so bad. La, la, la. I love love all of the Spider-Man movies. Love them because Spider-Man is my favorite fictional character of all time. But this is the worst interpretation of the Spider-Man character in my opinion. This is the movie that wanted to make him Iron Man more than any of the other ones. And as much as I love Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio and that whole freaking illusion sequence which is just mwah, ripped straight from the damn comics, he was an Iron Man villain. And you know, I think it's a cool connection for the MCU's purposes. I think I would have preferred if he was just a failed sorcerer though. But this is like Spider-Man's summer vacation and I loved it. But it was weird not having him in New York. Side note, one thing that I can't get over is the fact that the Edith classes did not know that a former Stark employee his name was Quentin Beck. That just irks me to this day, sorry. In eighth place, I got Spider-Man 3, and oh my god, look at this poster, bro. I'm fuck, I'm bricked up right now. I don't care. I'm, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I don't care. Who's gonna stop? The marketing campaign for this movie coming out in 2007 was damn near elite. I was so excited for this movie when I was younger, and I was so disappointed with it. There are moments that are great. Bully Maguire's in the Meme Hall of Fame, but Avi Arad and Sony just didn't let Sam Raimi cook, and they shoehorned Venom in there, and I don't, I'll never forgive them for that. I still love this movie, though. Next up, we got The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I've always said this movie has some of the best pure Spider-Man moments in any Spider-Man movie ever. The scene where he helps the kid getting bullied, that's Spider-Man. The way it pays off in the ending, everything with Peter and Gwen and the death of Gwen Stacy was just perfect. I also love the relationship between Peter and Aunt May in this series. Like, she knows he's Spider-Man. She knows. But she's never gonna tell him, because you're my boy. But the villains are very weak. Wanting Spider-Man's blood to save herself is the stupidest shit ever! From there we go to the Amazing Spider-Man. Again, some of the best Spider-Man moments ever. The scene where he saves the kid in the car is just fucking chef's kiss. The swinging scenes are just phenomenal. I'm personally not a fan of any of the suits in this movie though. And I wish they would've kept Kurt Connors' family in this movie. I think that would've added more weight to his character. Instead of just wanting to turn everybody into lizards. You know, that shit would be lit. Next up, I got Spider-Man Homecoming. What an elite Spider-Man movie, man. Especially for one set in the MCU. And it portrayed a young Peter Parker Spider-Man very well. Plus Michael Keaton as Vulture. Ugh. That twist in the car scene, ah, oh, beautiful. In fourth, I got the original Spider-Man, one of the best origins in comic book movie history, and this movie came out on my birthday, so I love it extra hard. Hey, yo. Willem Dafoe is the Green Goblin. This is the definitive top three. I don't care what order you have it in, but this should be the top three. But for me, in third place, I got Spider-Man No Way Home, which if you take out all of the cameos, it's still an elite Spider-Man movie. In second, I have Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, a perfect movie, but the greatest movie of all time, Spider-Man 2.